This is part two of the Nerd Sidekick tutorial on working with files. In part one, we looked at a program called File Explorer and got an orientation of the program interface. You can see part one by clicking the link up here or in the description below. In this video, we are going to dig in and start actually working with files. You'll learn how to move files, copy files, delete files, and more. We'll remove the confusion and frustration with files. Get ready because when we finish this File Explorer tutorial, you will be a file wizard. You're watching a video from the Mom and Dad Technology Tutorial Series. I'm making this mad TNT video series for my mom who sometimes struggles with technology. Don't get mad and blow up trying to help someone close to you. Instead, just send them this video. To start things off, I will open File Explorer. In the last video, we looked at several ways to launch the program. I'll just press the Window key while simultaneously holding down the E key on my keyboard. I'll now expand the ribbon over here so that it stays open all the time. I do that by clicking the chevron up here on the right. The ribbon shows us the various commands or actions we can take on files and folders. I'll click this button to maximize the window. You can adjust the size of the three panes to your liking. I like my navigation pane here on the left about that wide so I can see all the items in the pane. And I will set the file list pane this wide so we can see the details about the files. That just leaves this area as our preview pane for viewing previews of pictures and other files. You can adjust these anytime you need to see more or less data. In my documents folder, I have created a folder with some files and other folders inside it. This will be our sandbox where we can play around and not worry about making mistakes. I encourage you to do something similar so you can learn by doing. Let's start by copying a file. You can do that in multiple ways. First, click on the file you want to copy. I'll click on the document called List of Names. Next, I click on the Copy button on the ribbon. Nothing seems to happen, but this file is now on the clipboard, a temporary storage area in your computer's memory. I can now paste this file somewhere else. If I click on the folder named Paste Things Here and click the Paste button, the file is now copied to this folder. I'll click the up arrow to go out of that folder back to the Learning File Explorer folder and right click the Notes from Meeting file. That brings up a contextual menu. I click Copy. Now I double click on the Paste Things Here folder in the file list. Then I right click my mouse to bring up the contextual menu and click Paste. I click Learning File Explorer in the address bar. Notice the difference in the way that File Explorer treats the navigation pane on the left versus the file list in the middle. I'll click the Project Files folder. As soon as you click a folder in the navigation pane, the contents of that folder are displayed in the file area. I'll go back up one level, then in the file list area, I'll click on the Project Files folder again. This time, the Project Files folder is not open. The folder is selected, but not opened. To open it in the File List area, I have to double-click the folder rather than single-clicking like I can do over here in the Navigation pane. Continuing with our methods for copying files, I click on the picture named Road and press Ctrl-C on my keyboard. That copies the picture. I click on Paste Things here in the Navigation pane and press Ctrl V on my keyboard. Copy of the picture is pasted there. Thus far, we have copied only individual files, but these commands also work on multiple files simultaneously. In the Project Files folder, I'll click on the Reports folder in the Navigation pane. Here are several reports. We can copy several at a time. I'll click on Report 1, hold down the Shift key on my keyboard, and click on Report 5. All the files from my starting click to my ending click are selected. I click the Copy button on the ribbon. 
Remember, you could also use Control C on your keyboard or right click and choose copy. Now I click the paste things here folder and click the paste button. Back to the reports folder, this time I click on report six. Then I hold down the control key on my keyboard and click report eight and report 10. Only the three files I specifically click on are selected. I can release the control key on my keyboard. Now I right click on any of the three selected files and click copy. Right click on paste things here and click paste and just those three files are pasted. There's another way I can select files and folders. First, click the View tab at the top, then put a check in the Item Checkbox option. Now, when you hover over a file or folder, a checkbox appears to the left of its name. Just check the box and that file or folder is selected. The files can be anywhere in the list. You can cut, copy, or paste the files just as we have done in previous examples. I prefer to leave the checkboxes off, so I'll uncheck it. In addition to copying files, you can also copy folders and any contents they may contain. The folder named Copy This Folder has a couple of folders and files in it. I'll click in the file list and click the copy button. Then right click on paste things here and click paste. Everything in the folder, including subfolders and files, were copied. Let's now clean up the Paste Things Here folder. The cut command lets you remove a file or folder from one location and put it somewhere else. Instead of creating a duplicate like the copy command, cut essentially moves a file from one place to another. The file is removed from its original location and is placed wherever you paste the file. Here we are in the Paste Things Here folder. It has gotten entirely too cluttered, so let's clean up this mess. Notice that the Paste button is grayed out or dim. That's because there is nothing on the clipboard, and you would not be able to paste anything at this time. You'll see why this is important in just a minute. To begin the cleanup, I click my mouse just below the last file. I continue holding the mouse button down and drag my mouse to the top of the list of reports and release the mouse button. They have all been selected. Up here on the ribbon, I click the cut button. The highlighted files do not disappear, but note how their icons have dimmed, and the paste button is no longer dimmed, meaning the files are on the clipboard ready to be pasted elsewhere. If you change your mind and don't want to cut these files, press the escape key on your keyboard. Note that the icons next to the file names have returned to normal and the paste button is now dim again. If you tried to paste now, you would not be able to paste as the files have been removed from the clipboard. The files we want to remove are still selected, so I will click the cut button on the ribbon again. The paste button lights up to show you the files are on the clipboard. I move the mouse over to the final destination folder in the navigation pane and right click. And from the pop-up menu, I click paste. I click into the final destination folder and you can see the files we just cut are now pasted here in this folder. Clicking back on the paste things here folder, you see the files are no longer there. The files have now been moved. I'll select the remaining files and folder here, but this time I will click on the big red X, which is the delete button. A message pops up asking if I want to move the files to the recycle bin. I'll click no for now, but if I click yes, the files are removed and placed in the recycle bin, which is where files sometimes go to die before they are permanently deleted. You can rescue a file from the recycle bin later if you decide that you still need it, as long as the recycle bin has not been emptied. We'll cover the recycle bin in part five of this tutorial. Let's finish deleting the files. I select them again, then click the word delete just below the big red X button. That gives me two options. One sends the files to the recycle bin. The other permanently deletes the files, bypassing the recycle bin. I'll permanently delete since I know I don't need the files. 
You can also press the delete key on your keyboard or press control D on your keyboard. And you'll be asked if you want to delete or send the files to the recycle bin. So the difference between the cut command and the delete command is that cut puts the files on your clipboard. So you can paste the files somewhere else. Delete assumes you no longer need the files and that you will not be relocating them. You're ready to remove them from your computer, so the files are not placed on the clipboard and are instead deleted immediately. We can also move files and folders by dragging them with the mouse. I'll click back on the Learning File Explorer folder in the navigation pane. Then in the file list, I will click and drag the Copy This Folder folder. <laughs> Notice how there is a message next to my mouse pointer that tells me what will happen when I release the mouse button. It says move to final destination because if I release the mouse here and drop the folder, it will be moved to the final destination folder. As I move the mouse around, as long as I continue holding the mouse button, the files will not be moved. I can carefully select where I want to move the files by hovering over just the right spot. The name of the destination changes as you move around. If you change your mind and decide not to move the files, don't panic. Just move your mouse back to where you started dragging the files and the words will disappear from your mouse pointer. Or perhaps easier, just press the escape key before you release the mouse. The move will be canceled. If you make a mistake and accidentally drop the files in the wrong place, just click up here on the undo button or press Control Z on your keyboard and the files will be returned to their original location. If you have multiple drives installed in your computer or if you plug in a temporary drive like a USB flash drive, when dragging files to one of those devices, File Explorer will assume you want to copy the files rather than move them. I'll click and drag the list of names document. As long as I'm dragging it to a destination on the same drive, File Explorer offers to move the file. As soon as I drag to a destination on a separate drive, File Explorer assumes I want to copy the file. I'll drag this to another drive and drop it there. Back in the file's original location, you see it is still there because I copied the file. I did not move the file. You can choose whether you want to copy or move files when you drag them by dragging files with your right mouse button rather than the usual left mouse button. I'll right drag, note for meeting. You still see the standard message next to your mouse pointer. But when I release the right mouse button, a contextual menu pops up. I can copy or move the file, create a shortcut, or cancel the action completely. I'll cancel for now. You can force File Explorer to copy a file rather than moving a file by holding down the control key, then dragging a file to its destination. I press control, then drag notes from meeting to the project files folder. You can see immediately that this file will be copied because it tells you right next to your mouse pointer. I can even duplicate the file right in the same folder. I just control drag notes from meeting down just a bit to a blank area and release the mouse and a duplicate file is created. In this part of the File Explorer tutorial, you've learned how to cut, copy, paste, move, and delete files. If you have questions and comments, please post those in the comment section below this video. And be sure to click the like button if this video helped you. In part three of this tutorial, you will learn how to rename files and how to create folders, organize folders, and we'll also work with libraries. Click the video here to access part three now. You can view all of the mom and dad technology tutorials by clicking the playlist here. Click here to subscribe to the Nerd Sidekick channel to be notified of new videos as they are released. I'm Fred Kelly, your Nerd Sidekick, making you the technology hero.